Hello guys and welcome back to my Fire Red Let's Play. Last time you guys were here, I just battled my rival OD and I emerged victorious. So now it's time to heal my party. And while I'm on my way back to the Pokemon Center, I like to open up a voting poll and I'd like you the viewers to vote for um what should I rename my Mankey when I reach the name raider? And this is an um, open-ended uh, voting poll. You can say whatever nickname um, you would like to suggest. I'm open to any suggestions for renaming this Mankey because I, I realized that um, when I named it Mary, it was a terrible name. So leave it in the comments section. What would you like me to name this Mankey? So now I'm um, going to the Pokemon Center so that I can heal the said Mankey. <clears throat> so here I am. So my Mary is being healed. And now it's time to uh, move on to go towards Viridian Forest. So I know my Mary needs some some more experience because it's only level 6 and my desert fox is level 9 so I'm going to keep going on ahead here's route 2 and let's see what I can do in this nope there's no encounters there okay what does she have to say Rattata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? Nope, not yet. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful, you don't get lost. Thank you for your advice. So, I've made it into the Viridian Forest. And now I'm going to do a little bit more training for my Mary. So, I'm just going to walk around this forest, and I found a Weedle. It's a level 4. So my Mary comes out, and I scratch it. Weedle goes for the string shot, which doesn't matter too much at this time. But that poison sting might poison me. I hope it doesn't. Yes, okay. The scratch. Oh, a crit. That's really great. And that's a dead Weedle, and I gained some experience out of that. And, oh, I just saw an item right before this encounter, and it's a Caterpie. It's only a level 3. So this should be a 2 it No, it's not going to be a 2 it KO. It's just too bad. The uh, String Shot. And here's another Scratch. Come on, Caterpie, stop shooting these string shots. So, Mary, let's go with another scratch. Good job, Mary. Now I'm going to try to get this item over here. It's a Pokeball. So, yeah, that, that lady was right. This is a natural maze in here. Oh, a level 5 Caterpie. So I'm going to try to capture it just so I can add it to my Pokedex. I don't plan on using Caterpie in this playthrough because uh, when I played Fire Red or Red, Blue, Yellow before, I think I've used the Butterfree. So I'm just going to weaken it down so it'll be weakened enough to try to capture. And I'm afraid if I scratch one more time it might faint, so I'm going to try to catch it um, right now with a Pokeball. Go, Pokeball. Stay in. Cross your fingers. Yes! I caught Caterpie. And here it goes. Here's the description. It is covered with a green skin. When it grows, it sheds the skin, covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. Which we all, we all know it's a metapod. So I'm going to give this Caterpie a nickname. And I will name this Caterpie. 
Let's see. I'll name him Zion. He is a member of Team Nightmare. So Zion will be my Caterpie, even though I'm not going to use him. Now moving right along here, hunting for more um, bugs or even a Pikachu if I'm lucky. There's a Weedle. No, keep on scratching, Mary. And the string shot connects. Just keep going for scratch. String shot again. Come on, Mary. You almost got this Weedle beaten. Poison sting, don't poison me. Yes. And another scratch. That takes it out. And now Mary's level 7. Good job, Mary. So now it's only two levels behind Desert Fox. So maybe just one more level for now will be good. It's a Weedle again at level 4 female. So my scratch should be doing more damage, and yes, it's a, it'll be a two-hit KO this time. No, okay, good thing that Poison Sting didn't poison, because I usually get poisoned a lot. Getting some more experience. And what do we have here? It's another Caterpie. So my Mary is just going to roughen this thing up. And shoots more silk at me. So another scratch to its um, puny body there. It's shooting more string shots at me. Mary finishes it off. Congratulations, Mary. So, I'm just going to keep trekking on forward and... Here is another Caterpie. Now, I'm just gonna uh, keep on spamming these scratch attacks. While Caterpie is always, and Weedle is always spamming these string shots. That's a dead Caterpie, and that's some more experience for Mary. So now... Let's see what we got here. It's a Weedle at level 5, which is a pretty good level. And I think I might catch it. So let's see if I can weaken it down enough with one more scratch. Oh no, it attacks again. It goes Poison Sting. Another scratch. And now it's time to throw another Pokeball. So go, Pokeball. And it shakes about three times. It stays in. I caught a Weedle. So this Weedle is often found in forest and grasslands at a sharp toxic barb of around two inches at the top of its head. Yes, I'll give this Weedle a name. Hmm. Weedle's nickname will be... I'll just name it Meryl. She is a character on Metal Gear Solid, and she plays a uh, snake's love interest. So Meryl is going to be the Sweetle. So, um, oh, let's talk to this boy here. Came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. And I can't meet to. I can't wait to meet those friends for those battles. So. I'm going to keep continue training here. So Mary's going to beat up this Caterpie. And string shot. Now I'm going to um, scratch here. Oh, it's going to be a 3 kill. Finally, it tackles me. And this last scratch should do it. I gained 37 experience. Hmm, what does this boy have to say? 
I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. That is so true. The more Pokeballs you have, the better it is you never run out. Oh, a Metapod. So uh, I think I'll get some free experience here. So let's try some low kicks. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, I guess uh, I'm a noob today. I forgot that bug resists fighting. So I'm just going to keep on spamming these scratch attacks and hoping for a crit. So come on, Mary. As it keeps hardening and keeps gaining more defense, this will take a while. And there's not much to say here, as it's just going to keep on hardening up in the sun. And this is getting annoying, but um, eventually it should go down. And it's almost there. It's on the red health. Come on, Mary, don't let up. You almost got it. Here's another scratch. This will take it out. And Mary is now level 8. Very nice. So now I'm just, I'm gonna, wait, before I go back to heal my Mary, I'm gonna grab this item over here. And it's a potion. Nice. So I'm gonna go back and heal my Mary. <laughs> and, um... I'm gonna start fighting those trainers in Viridian Forest. Yep, so here's a jumping the ledge, jumping the ledge, and strolling down back to Viridian City. Yep. Yeah, back to the Pokemon Center. So, thank you very much for healing my Pokemon again. I very much appreciate your services. Thank you. So now I gotta make my way back to Viridian Forest. Now that Mary's all healed up. And then it's in back in top shape too for more battles. So, I, oh, I probably should have deposited my caterpillars, but that's okay. I, I can get to that later. So, I'm going to re-enter this building. Exit it. And I've re-entered the forest. So now, it's time to go up for my first Pokemon battle. Um... Besides OD, of course. And I'm gonna leave Mary at the top of my party. So, yeah, bring it on. You have Pokemon, come on, let's battle them. So, here's a bug trainer. He sends out his Weedle. And I'll have my Mary. And I'm gonna scratch it. That's what he does. A oh, poison sting. Oh, no poison yet. Um, just to, this must be my lucky day. And Mary gains a lot of experience from that, so I'm just gonna leave it in. And scratch since low kick is resisted. Oh, what a nice crit there. So this would be a nice two hit KO, which is pretty good. And there's another last much scratch for that Caterpie, and it's lights out. Defeated Bug Catcher Rick. So you better evolve those Caterpillars if you want to beat me, son.